stay at the farm. We're digging a pond. where the pond's gonna be. Now firstly with the trusty aid of Stu here, gonna be clearing all these bits of tree, the last few bits of the tops, all the good logs, get them all stacked up down the other end. Preparation for digging the pond here. Now we've got to get these out of the way first for obvious reasons. So we'll crack on with that now, clear the area, get ready to dig. worth of wood here, it's about 10 ton or so. Now the reason for building this pond is four reasons, I suppose, maybe five reasons. Is that the first one is we need water for the farm. We need water all year round, so if we ever have a summer like we've just had, we need to have a backup source basically, and this will be 30,000 gallons plus of water for us to use for irrigation and the animals in the event of an emergency like that. Where the well runs dry or something, or the rainwater capture system runs out. Uh, and the second reason will be uh, to utilise the soil from that to create a flood protective bank along oh, that back edge all the way down the corner there. Now that is going to basically mean that the shed, the polytunnel, any veg beds we build, they're going to be flood free at all times because obviously we don't want to spend lots of time and effort putting in lots of nice veg rows and stuff for them floods to come along and just wipe them all out. And uh, the, the third reason is we'll be building an earth wall around all of this. You can just about see, well, a little bit of it started already. And we'll be building that for two things. So firstly, it's obviously protects us from people just hopping straight over the fence and in. We've got a bit of a climb then, especially when we plant up all the trees that we gathered the other day. We'll have uh, quite a secure perimeter along this back edge and side here. And then uh, secondly, it's going to mean that the wind isn't going to be coming through here quite strong. So it's going to create a little bit more of a microclimate within this five acres. So we'll be able to have a slightly longer growing season bit earlier start, a bit later finish because of the uh, nature of not having wind chill on the plants all the time. And then the, the final reason I guess is putting in the little pond and put some fish in it so we can do some fishing which I love fishing. Who doesn't love fishing? Right, I'll crack on with some stuff. First job, let's clear a bit of topsoil and clear that back edge, push it all back to the culvert. Oh, sorry, not culvert, drainage ditch, sorry. Ready, start putting in the blood protective wall. Well, oh, crack on now. Got all the brambles and baby slowberry trees pushed back to the culvert now, as you can see, heads line there, everything's pushed back to it. Looks a bit destructive, but in order to create, you must destroy. One accidental knock of a branch on there with a the digger arm. But other than that, successfully done. Now it's time to start cracking on digging the actual pond out. Getting the earth wall over here and over there. Right, I'll crack on with some digging.
good amount of topsoil off now. As you can see, it's nice chunk here. It looks like it's pretty much perfect for earth bag building without any mixing already, fingers crossed. Got the uh, rest of the topsoil out here, looking like some more denser clay stuff in this corner, which is good for the pond and also good for this uh, flood wall along this back edge. But with the topsoil banging that along the that edge there with this dumper, so it makes it much better for uh, for the trees to grow in basically when we plant them up. Much more fertility in the soil, obviously, and then hopefully lots of all, uh, flat wildflowers and other random seeds to sort of come up in the spring and make this wall nice and green. Make it look nice. Right, I'll crack on clearing some more soil. This is yesterday's digging. As you can see, about two metres down to the top of the water there, but another half metre or so actually underneath that. It's filling up fast already, so no problem with this pond getting water. And no problem with it holding water either, because I mean, Look at that, it's already a pond. Right, let's get some more done. done. Bit of a change of plan, made an island in the middle. It was far too much soil to dig this all out in one go. As you can see we've got 20 meters by 10 meters and then a four or five meter channel all the way around this island. As you can see Max on there for scale. It's going to be a deep pond, it's going to be at least six foot, seven foot deep which is ideal, a lot of water storage. And over here fortunately there's a natural spring coming in as I've just shown that bit there, bursting the dam, that bit filled right up to the top within two days, so that's filling this up nice and fast. This is one night's fill and it's already up a foot. So, week's time and it'll be full. I'll show you the next video on this when I'm uh, planting some stuff up around the edge, making it look nice. Till next time.